What's going on, y'all? It's Claude. You're checking me out again. And mostly healthy food reviews. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? What's going on? First things first, happy Monday. Happy start to your week. Hope you guys' week goes smooth and you guys are blessed in every way imaginable. Before we get started, let me ask y'all one quick question just to make sure we're all good. Everybody's chilling. We're recovering from the weekend <laughs> and we're, we're, we're good. We're here. We're on the same wavelength, right? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? <laughs> Foodie fam, friends, followers, and everybody in the middle. My name is Claude. The channel is Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. This is the home of some of the realest food reviews you're going to get. If the food is good, I'm going to talk about it. If it's not, I'm still going to talk about it. In the case, let's get talking. I'm in that mood. Also in the mood for some Jamaican food. Yes, I want some real official Jamaican. I want to know if the spot I'm going to right now is at the top of the top. Talk to my guy. His name is Rashane. What's going on, sir? This one's for you, brother. He said to me that he actually went and got some food the other day from a spot in Bridgeport that I passed by a million times, but I've never really stopped. It's called Family Spice. If you guys know, I'm going to drop the address on the bottom of the video if you don't. But in either case, I'm about to pull up, order some food, find out what's going on, and report back to y'all like I do. Y'all know what it is. Real short, real sweet, mostly healthy food reviews. Let's get started. All right, y'all, this is Family Spice, Aquanic Street, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Let's find out what they do. I got curry chicken. I try to call it a lunch special. They call it as more of a Titus. They gave me a bunch of rice, curry chicken, veggies. Real simple, right? Let's find out how that tastes. Veggies are fresh. Without the mayo, it pretty much tastes like coleslaw, and that's what exactly what you're gonna get is like coleslaw. Shredded cabbage is what it is. Shredded cabbage, carrots. Here's the rice. Rice and peas. Very flavorful. Exactly what you would expect from a good Jamaican restaurant. Rice is extremely fluffy. Very flavorful. And is consistent. Good stuff. Here's my curry chicken. They give big pieces, but is it any good? Very flavorful, very juicy, seasoned really well. Yeah, this is good. This is good. If you're like me, the only thing I don't really like about some Jamaican food is that there's the bones in it. 
whether you get fish, chicken, and probably even beef, which I don't get, you're gonna get bones in your food. But keep in mind, like Rashane explained to me, and I never really paid attention to this, this is cultural. What that means is when you get people that are from the islands, and honestly, my family's from DR, you basically have everything on the plate, the bones, everything. So if you got fish, if you got red snapper, if you got, you know, pretty much anything, stuff doesn't really get taken out. You eat everything and eat everything around it. That's what it is. But here's a lot of flavor, truthfully. Very good. Originally, when she made the little one, this is more of a Titus to me. In case y'all don't know, Titus is a really small one. So I asked for a lunch special. I got here roughly about 11 o'clock in the morning. If you know, you know, but Rashane asked me to actually get Barbie fries also, which is chicken, but they didn't have any. So Rashane, just so you know, I have to go next time, brother, because they didn't have Barbie fries. I also asked for, honestly, what you would normally get, right, at a Jamaican restaurant, which is cocoa bread. They didn't have any. They didn't have any ready, they said. I guess I got here way too early. Maybe I should have came probably around one or two. The earlier you get your food at these restaurants, the better. Your food tastes incredible at that point, and that's exactly what you want. This dish cost me $11. With my cola, in my opinion, you can't have Jamaican food without having a cola. The champagne cola, baby. Always hits. Sweet as all heck, but always hits. These are actually really big pieces of chicken and they're flavorful. For $11, this is just enough food to fill you up for lunch, even an early dinner. Even though they didn't have my cocoa bread or the barbie fry, like Rashane asked me to get, this is enough. This is honestly good. I'm happy about it. I'm not even gonna hold y'all here. This is family spice, curry chicken, small titus, peas and rice, veggies. Very simple with my cola. I'm going with a straight 10 out of 10 on everything. Good stuff. Very flavorful, very, very fresh. Everything was just exactly what you want. And it's hot. It's actually burning the tip of my tongue. That's what it is. This is exactly what Bridgeport should be tasting like. I stand on that. 10 toes down. If you like the videos that I do, do me a favor, click subscribe. Turn notifications on, that way you get them when I drop them. And I drop my videos Mondays and Fridays, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard. During the week as time permits, like a Wednesday or Thursday. And once again, this is Claude at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Newsbreak. I'm on all social media platforms. If there's a health bonus to my food, it's an added bonus. If Family Spice, thank you for providing me with nourishment. And honestly, y'all are doing your thing right now, and I love the food. It was very, very flavorful. And if you've never been, y'all need to come down and check it out. Let me get up out of here. Y'all be cool on the other side of the pillow. I'll talk to you next time.